Piece to camera. I hate doing this. Welcome, viewers of the tube, to Garage of the Noob. Uh, in my last video, where I was flying with the uh, Hooners, thank you guys for coming up. Somebody pointed this out to me. In fact, a couple of people pointed this out. They're getting lobbed about here at the moment. I wonder how those other guys are doing. Ooh, wow. Big thermal. I spoke to Giles about this. General consensus seemed to be it was a mixture of three things. Uh, one, my new harness. Two, the fact that I have my leg out in front because that's where my foot cam is. As soon as I put that weight out in front, I rock forward a little bit. And um, the fact that I was fully trimmed out and my uh, brake toggles have moved further up my riser. I've got a, like a magnet that just slides up and down on there. So this is my new harness, a Dudek Comfort Power Seat, uh, size large to extra large and this harness has got a lot more padding here in the back than my old one here's my old one you can see the thickness of that padding in the back it's not even an inch uh, this on the other hand if we can come around where the light is you can see maybe there's a good inch and a half there in that back plate and then there is more here inside. I'm thinking that that's moved me forward a little bit. Now when we put this harness on, uh, Giles was here, we did a hang test with these fancy new danglers I put in the ceiling and it, and it looked okay. But I'm thinking leg out the front, moving forward a little bit, an inch maybe, uh, leg out the front at full trim and that's moving me forward, that's rocking the machine forward a little bit. So I'm gonna do a hang point, I'm gonna change my hang points and then um, do a hang test and then hopefully a, like a test flight tomorrow. Tomorrow looks good. Uh, here's Rich Leishman to let you know. Hello, <laughs> me again. The sun, obviously. Uh, it's flyable on Monday, so uh, you best get yourself up there. Bye. So these are my hang points. And you can see, I don't, if, you're, if you're new, then maybe you don't know this. If you do know this, Click away, watch something else. So there's a bunch of holes here and I plan to move these, just one hole forward, uh, both sides, and then do a hang check, see what the score is. We must have put some thread lock on these. Okay, fairly simple, that should do it. Now just to uh, get some straps out and do a hang check. Seems alright. It's hard to tell without uh, looking at the side camera. Harness recommended. Uh, good morning. It is uh, zero wind down here. Don't know if you can see those flags on that green building over there. Every now and again you get a thermal, well I wouldn't even call it a gust, more of a breeze. Okay, wing looks good. No, it doesn't. What the fuck's that? 
that's drama waiting to happen, isn't it? Basically, I've got to get through that gap. Abort if it looks bad. Don't be afraid to abort. Yeah, this is the um, the magnet that just slides up and down. So when my trims are out, this goes right up there. And that's what had it touching the top of the frame up there. Beautiful. Okay, arms out. Nice big pull up. Oh, up you come, baby. That did not go well. Whew. Come on, you know how to do this. There was a time when nil win forwards was all you knew how to do. Going home. Oh. <sighs> Nearly had it at the end there, but too close to all that. <sighs> oh, God damn it. I'm pissed off now. See you next time. Tomorrow. Attempt to. It's a nice day. There's a bit more wind. It's in a completely different direction, which is a uh, bit more of a help for me. But, you know, looking at this, what I was trying to take off, shouldn't have suffered like that. Don't know what I was doing. I hurt myself. That's that first fall. I think my swing arm must have clouted me in the left side because I've been bruised ribs. Uh, so wind direction is roughly diagonally across this field we have here, which is pretty good. That's what I'm going to try anyway. It doesn't feel like the 9 gusting 15 I've been promised. I've noticed a bit of seepage out of here. That actually looks wet just there. I've noticed a trickle of oil down here as well, running around here and I can see I don't know if the sun's blocking that but there's mess here as well only a little bit it's hard to tell what's oil that's been blown all over the place and what is leaking uh, for reference I am about a quarter or a third of the way up the window at the moment Okay, that was smoother by the numbers. Morning horses. Right, let's check out this hang point. I do feel that like I'm sitting back a bit more, but... On thrust it straightens up nicely. Let's get the seat out and see what's going on. Yeah, this seat extension is a little long for me. It pushes on the back of my uh, knees. Right, my brakes are a long way from that leg out. Yeah, even I can't actually get it to touch it. Let's check the other one as that was the problem. Oh God, it feels good to be up. Yeah, 
here's my left one. I hope you can see this. Brakes right up at the top. Leg is out. Not touching. Seems to have improved it. Am I more comfortable? Oh yeah, I feel more down in the seat. No, it's nice. It's nice up here. Get a bit of height, get the foot cam on. Okay, I'll see as everything seems to be okay at the moment. My plan is Q map. Uh, I moved up here when I was about 10 and we moved to a little village called Stanick. And then I went to school in the village next door, which was Rawns. And uh, I've never ever flown over there, so it's not far away. In fact, front cam. That white area over there is Rawn, so Stanick is before that. I'm going to fly along the valley here, along to Stanick, round the back of Stanick, see if I can see my old house, uh, round the back of Rawns, see if I can see my old school, uh, back down to the valley. There's a McDonald's here I'm going to have a look at, just in case it's landable, but I don't think it is. Uh, and then back along the valley and home in time for tea and medals or whatever it is. Now, yesterday the wind was coming from the opposite direction, so this would have been uh, upwind on the way there and then downwind on the way back. Uh, today it's downwind on the way there, which you wouldn't normally do. If you knew, if you're going on a, a cross country, normally you would go upwind on the way out to your destination. You'd choose your destination uh, by the wind direction, more or less. So that you're going quicker on the way back, um, you're going to have more fuel worries on the way back generally. Uh, so you would, um, yeah, you'd just be quicker on the way back with that. Because this isn't far, I think it's like a 13 mile round trip. I I've got enough fuel in for over an hour. It's not something I'm going to worry about today. If I do need to land out, I am, I'm near home. You know, I could, I could pretty much stash my gear and walk. Uh, just like the other day, it's a very nice day to be in the sky, so looking out for traffic is important. My outs at the moment are all on the left hand side of this valley. I know there's grazing pastures, in fact I can see sheep and stuff down there now, so... I need to stay on this centre path. Uh, and in the, in the event of an out, an out I would uh, go left. I'd have to turn round to land into wind, but in the case of an out, I would uh, landing into wind would be a luxury. Well, I think this hang point feels okay. It actually gives me a bit more room here, which is nice. I'm less sort of pushed back on my shoulders. New harness, new hang point. It's just getting used to the way it feels, isn't it, really? This is what's called Stanick Lakes. There's a little visitor centre down there, some walks around the lakes and stuff. It's nice. They got a few of the Roman uh, artifacts in there from when um, there was a Roman villa found somewhere not far from here. We went to it on school trips. I think I mentioned it before. So this is the village of Stanick. That's Rawns over there in the distance. Don't see any traffic, but it is pretty hazy up here. I guess there's an inversion. I'm not really interested in going above it. Yeah, the wind is a bit stronger up here. I'm crabbing somewhat. Put that down there. Pause and ring round it. That was uh, our house where we moved up here. From Watford in London. So, I'm glad we did, because you don't get fields and stuff like this to take off from in Watford. But not only does it look smaller because I'm older, but it looks smaller because I'm a, a thousand foot. That plot of allotments there, that used to be a, uh, a knockdown factory or something when I was a kid. <laughs> this is more a flight for me than you. I'm just reminiscing childhood. There's my mate Scott's house. Scott Vacher's house. Yeah. Jeremy York, we're all there somewhere. All these names. Oh, this is lovely. After yesterday's little... Uh, uh, trouble like that yesterday, failing to take off. That um, 
and then going home in a mood and with bruises. It kind of colours your whole day. Yesterday was just a bit shit, you know? A bit depressed all day. Uh, and this, even this little flight, which is going to be half an hour or something like that, is enough to just make it all better. What a gorgeous day to be up. Okay, this is my old school, Rawns Manor School. I think it looks completely different these days than it did. It's a long time ago I was in there. Socially distanced PE going on down there. Oh, that's another reason I wanted to get up today. It looks like we might be having a bit more lockdown. Hello, kids. They're waving. <laughs> nice one, Rawns Manor School. Right, try and work out where I am. Uh, Got a friend who lives down here, but I don't know which road they're on. Oh yes, I do. Lou and Wes. Shout if you see your own house. I'm not going to point it out, obviously. Don't want to get doxxed on the internet. Yeah, what was I saying? A bit more lockdown coming, maybe. Cases and therefore deaths are going up. Which isn't good news, but I guess it's this continual balance between needing to reopen the economy and have as less people as possible die. But it hasn't been nice. A friend of mine lost two of his best mates really early on. Uh, all the other people I know who've had it have recovered. Some have had it really bad, some have hardly, you know, don't even know if they've had it really. Not ideal. Alright, we've slowed down significantly now, so I'm going to trim out. See what that looks like with the new hang point. Leg is out, and I've got a hand span between cages. Seems to have solved the problem. Thanks, Giles, for the advice and the detective work. But I spend a lot of my time flying with this leg out, so maybe a hang point that suits that better than normal. Oh, it's gorgeous up here. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got to keep an eye on my machine. It's getting old. It really does need to go back to Bailey, but financially, I don't know what that's going to do at the moment. So we've got a McDonald's down at this roundabout. There is a big field right next door to it. You would have to hop a hedge, I think or a gate to get in, which isn't a big deal. There's actually a lovely football pitch right next to it, but access to that is a, a walk round. On the rare occasions I go to the drive through here, I look through the fence and check the field out. I mean, it's possible, but then it's taken off again, isn't it? And you can't tell how long the grass is from up here. This is short grass here. And that doesn't look awful, but I can't do a tucker on it. I've got my 200th video coming up soon. Could be three weeks, could be three months, who knows these days. But, oh, access is great out of this field, so I need to check that out. That's doable, especially if I get some friends over. The new DPD depot. I used to work for DPD. Uh, great company if you're a customer. Awful company if you're a franchisee driver. Literally zero hours contracts. Have it. Nice people. Shit business. But if you want something delivered, these guys are the ones. Oh, it's got cold all of a sudden. What is all this? No idea. 20 miles an hour, which means there's a roughly, yeah, 15, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind up here, roughly. But we're tootling back, we're not in a hurry. Try a landing with a new hang point. Yeah, it did suddenly turn very cold. That building down there, I was once making a, a student film in that, with my mate Robert and uh, my other mate Paul Lawton and we had a fake gun and I was a kidnapper and Paul was tied to a chair with a pillowcase over his head and I was waving a gun around right out in the middle of nowhere and the bloody police showed up 
wondering if they were going to need the firearm squad. Someone had seen us taking him out the back of the car with a pillowcase over his head. They'd seen us from this road as they drove by. LOL! Ah, uh, you wave at people on the ground and they're... I think they feel on a bound to wave back. Yeah, feeling a few more rocks up here. Which is good to test this uh, clearance here, really. Let's stay away from the water for the moment. So, I've got plenty of outs, and at the moment I'm planning on going over there towards that uh, sort of viaduct. So I'm going to keep climbing a little bit as I head over to the middle of the valley. So over this much water, it's uh, doubly important to know where your outs are. I know all this is good, I can see cattle down there, I know it's flat, I know it's going to be short. I've been down there before. It gets a bit more dicey over here, that's why I'm getting a bit of height. I'm going to travel back on the right hand side of the lakes. 17 miles an hour. So it is a bit stiffer up here. It's supposed to be picking up anyway, so... Not sure about an out at the moment. Probably directly below me. I'm just uh, hoping I don't have an engine out until I get to the other side of this road. If I had to get over there, obviously I'd stay trimmed out for a while just to get some more forward movement. I was nervous as hell before that launch. I'm glad that all went okay. Wonder what sort of speed I'd get trimmed in. Fourteen, fifteen. I think I'll I think I'll keep it there and enjoy the time up here. I'm not in a hurry. My outs at the moment are over there. There's a lot of lines. Uh, row of high power pylons and some smaller ones. Probably this triangular field at the moment. Alongside the, the lines and then in. Sewage works, I assume. Yeah, I can definitely feel the more laid back angle I've got. Frame looks pretty much upright. Rest and legs. So I want to land this way, going across into the field. I'll check out the flags when I'm down there. Just keeping a little bit of right weight shift on. To bring me over to the right hand side of the lake. Yeah, according to the flags, this is into wind, so that suits me fine. Coming over the gate. I think I'll descend over my usual descending field. Yeah, it's sort of diagonally up the length of that field. Let's get the seat away. Bump here down here. Oh, camera. Okay. too high at the moment. Here we go. Straighten up. Got a bit of a walk. I'm going well long. We're out. Beautiful, beautiful. Fast. Oh, slippy grass. And the wing down tidy. Can't moan at that at all. Could have landed a bit short. I left my descent really late. Happy. Happy with that. Take a stroll back to the gate. Come and get the wing. That was a nice little flight. Get some exercise. 
Well, that feels good. Whew. If you're still here, thanks for coming. See you next time.